When customers saw me at the photo counter in the drugstore, they knew that I would take care of them. I took pride in my work. We had a machine that developed the photos, but I made the canvas prints and I did a good job. The same people would come in year after year and start bringing me flowers, homemade jam and coffee with them. Eventually, my regular customers showed their appreciation in other ways as they watched my health deteriorate in front of their eyes. I injured my back badly as a 14 year old and have been in constant pain since that day. I got worse over the years, but I built up a tolerance and learned to live with it. Throughout my time working at the photo counter, it became harder and harder to do my work. I had to sit down a lot, hold on to the counters as I walked. I could barely carry the boxes of supplies. My customers would see me struggle and offer to help me. Many of them would come behind the counter to hand me their flash drives or offer to lift a box. They did what they could to help me because I always provided great customer service. Three years ago, our granddaughter came to live with us and I was experienced a constant six out of 10 pain I couldn't even sweep the floor anymore. I had to retire. The pain pills I had prescribed were expensive, but working at the drugstore, the discounts and benefits had made it manageable. All the change overnight with the extra mouth to feed, my husband's own health conditions, and my loss of wage, we really had to tighten our belts. I started rationing my pills to make the prescription last two months instead of one and we made it. Recently, I had some severe back spasms and I decided to go to the doctor. I can see the suspicion when I told him that my pain was an eight out of a 10 on the scale. This time I asked, can I get an MRI from my back to see what's happening? And he said, well, it's unlikely it's your back and it doesn't seem like you're in much pain anyways because you're not filling your prescriptions regularly. That interaction didn't make me want to come back with flowers, homemade jam, or coffee. I'm not sure I'll ever go back. I know what it is like to provide good customer service by appreciating your customers, listening to how they feel, and show that you understand what they need. That's the only way they will trust you with the most important moments of their life.